Grade 4 Math, number 93, Angles. In our last video, we talked about rays and line segments and lines. Now we're going to talk about angles. An angle is made by two rays or line segments that have the same endpoint. The shared endpoint is called the vertex. See, this is the vertex right here. This is called angle A, B, C, or we can call it angle C, B, A, or we could just call it angle B by the name of the vertex, see? We write it as a little angle sign like this and put ABC or the little angle sign and go the other way, CBA, or the little angle sign and put the B. An example of an angle could be the corners of a door right here. That's an angle, that's an angle, that's an angle, that's an angle. The piece of a pie or pizza, those are angles, see, right there. There's an angle there. Okay, we can label or name an angle by its vertex. This would be angle E right here. See, this is the angle. If we name it using three points, the vertex letter is always in the middle. See, D, E, F, F, E, D. The E is always in the middle because that is the vertex. Okay, the types of angles are classified by the opening between the rays. See, that's a ray and that's a ray. That's a ray and that's a ray. So whatever the opening is between the rays, that's how you classify the angle. That's how it's named. A right angle makes a little square corner. See that? An acute angle is less than a right angle. See, the right angle would have been here. So anything less than this dotted line, even right there, just right on this side of it, that would still be an acute angle. You can remember that it's an acute angle because they're acute. The angles are little and cute. See? They're cute little angles. They're smaller than a right angle. They're cute. An obtuse angle is bigger than a right angle. This is dotted line is where the right angle would have been. The obtuse angle is anything past that dotted line. So even if it was just right here, right on the edge, this side of the dotted line, it would be considered obtuse. Okay? A straight angle makes a straight line. It just lays flat on the ground like it's dead. It just makes a straight line and it's got the center point there as its vertex. Okay? And the angle would actually be measured in that area right here. Okay? So remember, when you're trying to figure out which type of angle it is, you'll ask, does it make a square? If it does, then it's a right angle. Is it less or bigger than a right angle? If it's less, it's a cute angle. If it's more, bigger, it's an obtuse angle. Is it a straight line? Well, then it's a straight angle. See? So, those are the different types of angles. That's how they're labeled and named. That's how you write them with a little angle sign like that. And here is the four main types of angles and why they are the way they are. The rules to why they're named that way. We're going to talk about labeling lines next. I'll see you there. Bye.